Hi, Nikki Duffy here. And one of the access consciousness tools which is so helpful and can be really useful is, is it yours? Asking the question, is it yours? Um, when, you, when you're getting um, any thoughts, feelings, emotions, especially ones that are making you feel really stuck or really yuck or contracted, making you feel small or like closed in at all. Um, because we are so aware, we, we have a psychic ability to tap into other people's energies, other people's thoughts, other people's feelings, and and we just sort of like soak them up um, without being cognitively aware of it. So if anything's feeling really off and you're like, why am I feeling like this? Instead of asking, why am I feeling like this? Because when you ask, why am I feeling like this? Then your your logical brain will switch into action and be like, oh, because you're tired, because you didn't sleep very well last night, because you had that argument with um, the co-worker, because blah, blah, blah. And it's easy to find because, because, because. So instead of asking if something, if you, if something's feeling or, you know, you're getting, um, you're getting words in your head, um, which, which don't make sense to you. Why would I think that? Why would I say that? Why would I, um, feel that instead of asking why ask, is it mine? which is an ex a, a different way of asking the accessness consciousness question, who does it belong to? Because when you ask, hang on a minute, is that mine? Is that thought? Is that yucky feeling? Is that uh, pressure, stress, whatever it is, is it mine? Is, and it, when you ask that, if it, the the sense lightens up at all if you feel in any way lighter or more expansive or like you have more space or anything shifts and changes even if it's just like minusculely and then it goes back um that's an indication that it's not actually yours that you're just fabulously psychic <laughs> that you just like energetically aware and you simply tapped into um other people's thoughts feelings emotions even if there's there's no one around and you don't need to know who it comes from um that's why i tend to um play with this version of who does it belong to because who does it belong to is a way of acknowledging that it's not yours or maybe it's not yours um but also it's it it kind of uh supposes that you need to know who who it come where it comes from who it belongs to and uh you don't you don't need to know you don't need to know whose it is or where it comes from or why you're picking it up. You don't need to know any of that. All you need to do is acknowledge that it's not yours. Acknowledge and in that acknowledgement, that can start to unwind and release you from it. And there are many other tools, you know, sometimes just acknowledging that it's not yours can be enough to, to release you from that and to have it dissipate and, and reduce and fade away. And other times, although it may, like acknowledging that it's not yours, um, may lighten up momentarily, um, there are other tools that you can use and, um, and expand on that and, and it really help you release other people's thoughts, feelings, emotions, um, particularly in times of great intensity, like, um, you know, when, when, there, when there's a lot going on, um, like now there's, there's a lot going on in the world, you know, the time of year brings up stuff for people. Um, you know, it's acknowledging that it's not yours is, can be the first step to helping free you from the intensity that's being presented to you and allow you to let it go. And if you'd like some help with 
tools, other tools to use and um, other ways to release you from um, intensity, things like um, anxiety um, yuck, and, and contraction and, and other, other stuff like that. Um, keep asking, um, who does it belong to? Is this mine? And um, DM me, private message me if you would like more, um, more tools to go with that. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching and um, your choice in every moment creates your life. So what are you choosing for you today? Bye for now.